Last month, I had the awesome opportunity of being a guest doing a, a little talk on the Corrections Community Network. And if you don't know about the Corrections Community Network, you need to get involved. You need to check it out. I'll put the link to it in the description and in the comments below. But I did a little talk about how I feel that the training that we're given as we come into the profession and throughout our career changes us, how it affects the way that we operate. And you guys know that I've written a couple of books about this. I talk about this quite frequently, the way that the, the job, the things that we see kind of stick with us, stay with us, alter the way that we behave outside out of uniform. And this is a clip from that interview. I want you to check it out. And then what I want you to do is after you watch this, after I after I uh, you know tease your appetite a bit with this soundbite, I want you to go watch the full interview over on the Corrections Community Network. Subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to their social media platforms. Get involved. Join the community so we can push this profession forward and make corrections great again. That's because of how we're trained. That's because of how our correctional brains function. Everything's a threat. Everybody's a threat. Everybody's lying to me. Everybody's trying to get me. And then we take that all home, right? And then we start treating people outside like they're inside. In fact, I even go one step further when somebody says, stop talking to me like an inmate. I said, I'm actually probably talking to you worse than I talk to an inmate. Because there's no consequences if I tell you to kick rocks. Inside, I could be investigated. There could be a physical altercation, like whatever. But if I tell my kid to kick rocks, who cares, right? Like he's not going to do anything to me. So we actually are kind of worse uh, outside, more assertive, right? So inside, we're told to use our, our officer voice. We're told to clear the day room. We're told to, you know, that people, when when we do things, people do them. When we say things, people do what we say, or other people will come. You guys will come and help me make them do what we say. That doesn't work outside. The, 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 the lady calling about my light bill doesn't care about that. The, the lady who just cut me off in traffic doesn't care if I'm a correctional officer. Nobody cares outside. The problem is inside when you've worked inside for any length of time, and and you're and you have those that backing and you have that authority when you get outside sometimes it's a little it's a little jarring and it makes you act in, in a in a manner that you probably shouldn't act in i mean i've myself been overly aggressive i i won't say overly overly assertive i've i've put myself into positions and conversations that i really didn't need to because um it was none of my business but because I was in the area and I make things my business for a living, I made it my business. And, you know, it, it could have went poorly. But it took me a long time to realize that I was um, I was programmed like I was trained to do these things and 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 very well. The, the people that put the curriculums together, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. Um but people need to understand that over time, we also become institutionalized. We also uh, get better at dealing with life inside uh, than we do outside. And and because we're not told that, I think that's where we I think that's where we drop the ball. There are so many situations in my life over the last few years, prior to the last few years, I guess, that could have been avoided. If I would have known that, hey, um, you're being a jerk, man. Like you are not, this is not appropriate behavior outside. Inside it is. And I'm not saying inside we go crazy and we're yelling and we're swearing. Uh, to the contrary, we're super professional. So much so that 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 we save lives and 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 we go in and and we are unaffected by these things and we do our job and we render aid to people who who you know have done terrible things to other people and we give respect to people that that absolutely in no reality at all should they even get respect from anybody and and we do that right so 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 this is what I always ask people you know they, they they'll call me up and they'll say. Oh, do you have you have that guy in jail that they just busted for 
for messing with them little kids. I don't know. People always, it's so cliche. People always, well, what about the Chimos, you know? And they're like, what are you guys going to do to them? I said, well, uh, we're going to serve them breakfast. We're going to serve them lunch. We're going to give them clean linen, and we're going to make sure he's safe from everybody. That's what we're going to do. And they kind of look at me. Well, that's crazy. Well, that's that's my job, and that is crazy, and that's why I go crazy because I have a person who is, I don't know a good way to say this because I'm trying to be a better person, um, who I don't feel deserves um, the same treatment as everybody else. Maybe that's a nice way to dance around it. And 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 yet I have to do that because of my job. I'm trained to shut off my emotions. I'm trained to be numb. I build up this crust, this callousness. And then I serve breakfast to a guy who I know raped and killed a little girl and left her body in the woods. And then I, I politely, I politely explain to him every morning when he asks me for a second cup of coffee that, sorry, bud, we only give one cup. Y you know that. And then when he says, well, what was the score of the Lakers game last night? And I want to say, I don't want to say what I want to say, but I, what I say is, sorry, I don't watch basketball, dude. You know, what does it do to a person, man, to, to be trained, to shut off your emotions, to deal with people that have done horrible things, have said horrible things who are still doing horrible things, by the way, when they go to, they go to prison, they go to jail. You guys know they don't, they're not like, Oh, all of a sudden I'm a good person. People still do bad stuff and we have to do it. And that's, and, and, and that's, and I'm going to get off on a little side tangent here, but you know, I have, I have people that are, that are, um, very pro prison reform and they reach out and I think, you know, we need them. They need, there, there is definite changes that need to be made, but you can't have a better place for the population if you don't have a better place for me. 